take a selfie pula give me a the best song of 2014 dude absolutely love the raw energy go check that song out right now here's my top 5 list Hello, 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 welcome back to Fame Tech. You're watching Gadget Wala Top 5. I'm Ankit Vengur Lekar. And on this episode, we are recapping 2014 and the best cameras. I mean, the camera obscuras of 2014. What an incredible year it's been for cameras. But before we dive into my list, number one. The fourth edition of the incredible and world's best and my favorite action cam. GoPro. GoPro Hero 4 came out earlier this year in 2014. I mean earlier last year because it's 2015 already. And dude, what a camera. Size pe mat jao, apni akal lagao. This cam does it all and how. Shoots 4K resolution footage. How much is 4K? 4K is 3840 into 2160 resolution which is basically Four times or two times better than HD. I don't know, man. Do the math. I'm not math kar hota, aur pe hota. Nasa mein. Anyway, so it does incredible footage, high definition, at full HD, which is 1080p resolution. It can go really slow. So that is super cool. Okay, but does 12 megapixel stills. Uh, battery life lasts about two hours now. Has got Wi Fi. There's a kick ass app. So you can compose your phone kar sakte hai, shot and you can mount your GoPro on anyone or anything. And the cool part is, it does not cost a kidney. Starts at around $300, goes up to $500. GoPro Hero 4 is my number patch on the top 5 cameras of 2014. Number 4 is the kick-ass sensor that is in its 4th iteration that makes this one of the bestest cameras of 2014. I'm talking about the Xpeed 4 image sensor engine of the mind-blowing Nikon D750. Now the D750 is the smallest and the lightest full-frame camera from Nikon. What's a full-frame you ask? If you're a semi-pro or pro-am or a pro photographer, what you will need is a 35mm sensor digital SLR camera. That's what the 750 is without breaking the bank. The body costs about 1 lakh 25, 30 thousand rupees, which is phenomenal value for money. A lot of people keep asking me, why should they buy a digital SLR camera? Well, if you want full-on manual control of your photography or videography, because the D750 also does full HD videos at 60 FPS with manual audio control as well, and a tilt swivel LCD, this is a beast, absolute beast. If you are someone who really wants to take on to professional photography and videography, invest in the Nikon D750. And along with that, don't forget to buy the f1.4 50mm lens. Pyaar ho jayega. Pyaar. Number 3 on my top 5 cameras of 2014, the year that just went by, has to be a category of cameras that really saw some kick-ass action in 2014. The Micro Four Thirds category. For a lot of people, the Micro Four Thirds category is kind of confusing. Well, it shouldn't be. It's very simple. You have the Nikons and the Canons doing big-ass DSLR cameras. And then you've got the Coolpixes and the Canons and the Olympus and the Samsungs and everyone and their uncle and their underwear doing point-and-shoot cameras. Micro Four Thirds sit beautifully right between these two ends of the spectrum. What they give you is the phenomenal manual control that DSLRs give and the image quality and they are light enough and portable enough just like your regular point and shoot cameras. Best of both the worlds. And I think one camera that married best of all the worlds possible had to be Olympus OMD EM1. The OMD series is for pro-am and serious photographers who want a second lighter weatherproof body in conjunction with the Nikon or Canons and the OMD EM1 is a fabulous weatherproof body. What I love about it is the fastest autofocus phase detection system that the EM1 employs. For less than 1 lakh rupees and a very respectable lens portfolio, I think the Olympus EMD1 should be your first interchangeable lens camera if you don't want to jump up to the FX DSLR bandwagon or a great second camera body in case you're already onto the D800s or the 5D Mark III's. A really cool trend that we saw in camera design in 2014 was the return and how 
of retro futuristic design what is retro futurism one look at my camera number two of 2014 and it will be crystal clear to you the fujifilm finepix x 100 s look at this baby you want to make love to it I think Fuji has absolutely cracked the retro futuristic styling on the X100S and along with that there's enough chutzpah to please all you photographers out there. It does have a 23mm f2 fixed lens, that's fixed focal lens so there's no zooming in, there's no zooming out. It does also have an SLR sized APS-C sensor that gets you kick ass low light photography. You can shoot up to ISO 6400 without any noise in dark environments. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? No, I think sex tapes are better with handy cams. Or better still with infrared cams. No, but really the Fujifilm Finepix X100S is one badass X-rated camera. Ba -ba 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 -ba! Indians love Sony! So without any doubt, boys and girls, my top camera of 2014 has to be Sony Denakre, Sony Mundi, the Sony RX100 Mark III. Now the Sony RX100, the first one that came out two years back was my go-to advanced compact point-and-shoot camera. That's a lot of words in one sentence. Advanced point-and-shoot compact camera. What does this do that other regular dumb digicams don't do? An f1.8 lens. That's what I'm talking about. People who understand optics and lenses will realize what a hard-on it is for photographers to have an aperture as low as f1.8. Insane low-light photography, fantastic portability, a great LCD screen that swivels and tilts, and one of the best autofocus and sharp images. The RX100 Mark III is the embodiment of Kim Kardashian. Pop-up OLED viewfinder, a 24 to 70 millimeter equivalent lens, and an f1.8 lens that just pyar ho jayega aapko low light photography ke saath. The bokeh or the bokeh that it gives in low light. Oh! I want to get married to the RX100 Mark III. My top five cameras of 2014 list is done, but not without I give one honorable mention, and that goes once again to Sony's Alpha 7 series. I think what they achieved to do with a camera of that tiny diminutive size, but yet a full frame output and that resolution and that low light photography and no noise and the kick-ass HD video that it does, Sony Alpha 7, 7R and 7S have set a whole new benchmark that's going to definitely give Nikon, Canon and Olympus and Panasonic a run for its money in 2015. That's it boys and girls, it's a wrap on the Gadget Wala Top 5 Cameras of 2014. It is Happy New Year and I will put out a list soon of the top 5 optical devices or imaging devices that I'm looking forward to in 2015. One of them has to be a whole new edition of Lightro, the magical light field camera that we saw in 2014. What's gonna come new in 2015 is anybody's guess Leave your comments, subscribe to this amazing channel called Fame Tech where you can catch all my latest reviews and listicles and of course subscribe to us on, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and that's it. I don't want to see you on Tinder. Okay, bye now. Kadil ni reke, niya bite 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 bana ye rongi reke.